In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to find the integral of e to the x cos x with respect to x. And we're going to use integration by parts. So over on the right hand side, I've written the rule just as a little reminder. Now the first thing here is to decide what term is going to be u and what term is going to be dv by dx. Now in this case, we're going to let u equal e to the x and we'll let dv by dx, well that's going to equal cos x. So what I have to do here is I have to differentiate this, so du by dx, well that is simply e to the x, and when we integrate this to get v, v will be sin x. So now I can pop these values into this rule here. So the integral of e to the x cos x, remember that's what I started with here, that is equal to u times v. So u times v, which will be e to the x sine x, minus the integral of v times du dx, which will be e to the x sine x dx. Now if you notice, we have another integral here where we're going to have to use integration by parts. Let me do that just over here. So we have the integral of e to the x sine x with respect to x. And again, we can apply this rule here. So let u equal e to the x. And we'll have dv by dx. Well, that will equal sine x. We have to differentiate this term here. So du by dx. Well, that's simply e to the x. And we need to integrate here. So v would be negative cos x. So the integral of e to the x sine x dx is equal to u times v. I've got a negative there to consider as well. So it's negative e to the x cos x minus the integral of v. I've got another negative here, so I can make that into a positive. So v times du by dx, which will be e to the x cos x dx. So this thing here is the result of integrating this here. So now I need to bring that back and uh, use it over here again. So what we've got is e to the x sine x minus this thing here. So that's minus e to the x cos x plus the integral of e to the x cos x dx. Now let's go ahead and simplify a little bit. So I'm going to expand the bracket here dealing with this negative here. So we've got e to the x sine x. These two negatives will be a positive, And we'd have e to the x cos x. Then we expand over here. So we've got a negative and a positive here. So we get a negative. And the integral of e to the x cos x dx. Now that whole thing, we know that's equal to e to the x cos x dx. Now if you notice, we've got two of these. We've got one here and we've got one here. So if I add this to both sides, I would eliminate it from here and I'd get two of them here. So now what we can do is we can say that the integral of e to the x cos x dx is equal to, now I'm going to factor out the e to the x here. So we've got e to the x, bracket sine x plus cos x divided by 2. And just remember that we need to add on the constant of integration. Now if you found that video lesson useful, please give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe.